Hi guys, I am off to Santiago, Chile. Gay rights came into play in Chile in 2012, so I'm really curious to see how diverse, how inclusive, how accepted it is in the queer community. I'm going to be smack in the middle of the Andes Mountains. I hear the street art is off the chain, and I'm really looking to fall in love with a Chilean. Wish me luck. Here I go, off to Santiago with Pride Tours, Chile! Robbie round the world. Como estas? I've arrived. I'm with the guys in charge of Pride Tours, Ivan and Freddy. Now I'm gonna go to my hotel and we're gonna see the city. If you want the most green and luxurious hotel in South America, you must stay at Vida Sola. It is in the upscale area of Viticura, has a beautiful pool, vibrant restaurant, the most comfortable bed, and a gorgeous view of the Andes. If you want a more local vibe that won't break the bank, you must do an Airbnb in Providencia. My Airbnb has an incredible rooftop pool, but just the tip, no pools in Chile are heated, so be prepared for that, but also be prepared for 95 degree weather and the breathtaking views no matter where you go. Now I need to go out and explore what gives the locals life and energy in this city. Why do you love living here in Santiago? Hombres, men, drag. Like the pace, and I see a lot of opportunity, business, and socially. Nightlife, the drag queens. Earthquakes, oh my god. <laughs> I don't need to go to the shrink because the earthquake put me in place. The surround of, of Santiago, that's the thing I love, the mountains. Be yourself, Santiago is a very open city. The one country in South America which is most open to immigrants. We are at the southest place in the world, so I feel everybody's doing his best to, to really bring a part of the world that they like to Chile. The quality of life, the amount of parks that we have, it's bikeable. Oh, is it? Well, he's a snack, and I'm going to see this city on a bike tour. Bicicleta? Yeah, where are you going? Wherever you want. And I trust you because you're sexy. Thanks. I don't think that's enough reason to trust somebody. Just a beautiful way to see the city, huh? It's the best way. When it's hot, 35 degrees Celsius, get on a bike, feel the wind, stroll oh, yeah. through these crazy neighborhoods. Another way to see this city is to go on a drag queen walking tour. Hi. We are going all around the city, taking pictures, and they are serving luck. We are approaching San Borja Park, where a guy named Daniel Zamudio got brutally murdered in March of 2012 just for being gay. After his death, President Sebastian Piñera urged Parliament to speed up the law on hate crimes, which passed four months later, banning discrimination based on sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, appearance, or gender. And it's incredible that we can do something like this today. We're heading to another important moment in queer history. A horse statue, if you will. We're gonna go to a famous horse, which is the founder of Santiago. During the first non-official gay protest in 73, uh, a few dozen drags came together here to this square and protested about their rights and the abuses that they had. They made it up to the horse that we're gonna go to now. They fondled it a little bit, and suddenly the penis disappeared. Did it? I all don't know. Oh, okay. After walking around all day with these queens, let's get some food. For upscale dining, hit up the restaurant inside of Hotel Bidasoa, where the burgers and desserts will melt your mouth. Get pizza at Pizza Bella, the only restaurant with rainbow flags in the city. For a healthy option and an escape within the city, go to Coffee de Dor for delicious salads and pastries. For a lavish, local, and somewhat campy experience, go to Sarita Colonia, where the vibe is no joke, and I get to sit down with the owner. We came up with uh, uh, our line of cuisine, which is uh, cross-dressed Peruvian food. What does that mean? Which is uh, basically traditional Peruvian food that borrows ingredients from other cultures or, or other cuisines. And it's blowing my mind, as is the local drink, the Pisco Sour. Let's tear up the gay nightlife. Station Bar has a massive patio and a killer terremoto, which means earthquake. 
It's called Tramoto because after you drink it, everything will start shaking around you. Okay, keep it moving. Bar 105 is a super inclusive local bear bar with eye candy for days. Foxy Bar, also known as Bar de Willy, is a non-pretentious dive bar with a dark room upstairs. See a drag show with Farah Nelly, which just the tip, drag shows don't start until at least midnight. End the night at the oldest gay club in Santiago, Fausto. Dancing your face off, seeing mind-blowing shows, and finding your man. After closing down the club, I just want to relax. But an incredible part of Santiago is the ability to drive 40 minutes and end up at a gorgeous winery. Vina Jaras de Pirque has the most stunning landscape built in the form of a horseshoe, and all of the wines produced here are 100% organic. I learned here the proper way to taste wine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a fail. Another incredible day trip is to go to the magical city of Valparaiso. It is legit a color scheme dream. Super affordable, lots of hills, incredible food, the most lavish street art I've seen around the world, and the most amount of ways to entertain yourself. This is a thing. Ah! <laughs> Look what I got. Today's a day for exercise. I'm wearing my Elko yoga shirt, and there's goats behind me. I've gone about two minutes, and I'm already so out of breath. <laughs> really want water. It has been absolutely breathtaking here in Chile. But I have to tell you, coming to Santiago is not about coming to Santiago. It is about exploring, taking in the outskirts, because that's what makes this city this city. It is a country filled with love and passion and is moving so forward and so inclusive. And the best way to see Chile as a queer person is through the lens of Pride Tours. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and I'll see you on my next adventure. Robbie around the world. Is he, is he seriously juggling four chairs? I can't even throw one ball. Oh, hello. Is no, this again, thing, is again, this again, thing? again, No, again. I'm gonna edit it. Hey. I'm editing it. Okay. Good morning, I'm John, but really, I'm Sean. Because if I said Ravi, they'd spell rabbit. I'm taking the train by myself. I'm taking the train by myself. I hope I don't get lost. Oh.